I'm Talha Kaleem and welcome to Mat and Cat Tips. This is the channel where you can learn different MATLAB and CAT software bits based tips. Today I'm going to make you learn how to make a basic GUI using MATLAB guide. And for that purpose, I have already opened MATLAB. To access MATLAB guide, you can simply type guide and press enter. Okay. It says that if you want to open an existing GUI or you want to create a new one. So basically I'm going to make a blank one so that you can better understand from the start. You can see these names with the tools. These are not visible when you open this function first time. So to, op uh, so to make these visible, go to file, preferences and show names in component palette. Okay, take this and apply. Now you can just go on and place buttons, text boxes, axes and panels. Uh, suppose that you have a system that outputs responses x1 and x2 and you want to plot these responses with time. For that purpose, let's just place an axis system, then a push button for plotting and then if you have more than one responses and you want more than one plots then for having a choice you can also place a pop-up menu change properties of buttons by double clicking on the button we can access to the property inspector from here you can change a lot of properties you can just play around with these Mm, but for the present purpose uh, let's just change font size to 10 and make foreground color orange <clears throat> you can see this string name this is the name which appears there in the window so uh, I would better like it as plot then you can even change the tag name uh, or you can just leave it the way it is tagging is important uh, it's actually the name using which you can refer to any function in the GUI workspace these properties are enough for the basic level we can also change the properties of pop-up menu if we go by the supposition uh, then we need two things in the pop-up menu one is the x1 plot and the other is the x2 plot okay you can also change the tag name but let's just leave it like that since these items are not aligned with one another for that purpose I will select these two and click on this icon I want these two items to be aligned vertically uh, so I will check this one in the vertical portion I don't want these items to be aligned horizontally so in the horizontal portion I will check this arrow and apply now I want these two items to be aligned horizontally for that purpose I will check this one and in the vertical portion we will check this one and apply you can also set spacing between these two items either vertical or horizontal by checking any of these and setting the spacing okay in software GUIs most of the coding is done behind buttons like we have here plot each of these item in this plane is presented by a separate function in guide editor each function presenting its own functionality and we can access those functions uh, through callbacks like for this plot button we right click on it go to view callbacks and then click on callback I have not saved it let's just save, save it on this desktop with the name of GUI okay inside guide editor Handle structure is used for accessing values of functions 
but there are different ways to access value of a function uh, one if you are within that function and two if you are out of that function for example this is the callback function this is the callback function for pop menu one and if you want to access value of this pop menu one function in the plot callback function and the structure that will be used is written here in this file I have already written this small and easy MATLAB code uh, and uh, I didn't want it to waste your time by typing it here x1 is the first response x2 is the second response and t is time uh, so what this statement is actually doing it's getting value of pop menu one function and assigning it to pop val uh, when a drop when any term in a drop down menu is selected if it's a first term then automatically at the back end system provides a value of one to the pop up menu function and if the second term is selected similarly a value of two is assigned to the function by using this logic i have used an if statement if pop val is one then it means that x1 is selected and we have to plot a graph between x1 and time and similarly for pop val 2 we have to plot a graph between x2 and time now let's just copy this code into our function and run it so here when x1 plot is selected and when we hit plot we have this plot and for x2 we selected x2 plot and then plot so it's also done okay. and also use this code inside pop-up menu function for that purpose let's get into its callback function and paste our code there as i have already clarified that there are different ways for accessing the value of a function when uh, you are inside that function and when you are outside that function in the present case we are inside the function so we would use edge object instead of this whole line and hit run now on selecting x2 plot we have its plot and on selecting x1 plot we have its plot as you can see you do not even need plot button for the present case okay friends this is all for today now i will try to make next video on how to create input output slots in the GUI and how to use those values in any simulink model for up till then take care of yourself and goodbye